We're out here at my favorite spot. We call it Kathy's and we're doing a morning hunt. We haven't seen anything yet. So we'll see if Hunter decides to come out to the food plot. We're really hoping to get it done today, either this morning or tonight. So we'll see what happens. Guessing, no idea, just total guess, 35 yards. Put my 35 yard pin on and hit him, so. <sighs> so we just reviewed the footage and the shot on camera, it looks really far back, but he was pretty far angled away from us, and so the way that the arrow would have went in there would have been good at that angle, so we're gonna give him a couple hours and go this afternoon take a look, see if we can find them. There's a lot of blood that we could just see on the camera, so we're, we're really hoping we're finding this one. Um, he came out of nowhere, looked up, and he was right there 20 yards. So I quick grabbed my bow, and he saw us move, and so he ran probably 15 yards back. I'm gonna guess it was around 35 yards. He was my 35-yard pin and shot, and it was a good shot, so. We'll go look in a couple hours, see what we can find. We came back, it's about 12.30 now. I shot him at around 8.30 this morning, so we gave him some time to die. We just went and found my Uncle Craig's deer, and my husband Matt just shot a deer also. So we'll go look for his next. So it's just a great day for killing some deer. So let's see if we can go find my buck. Blood. Oh. Where's the? You still blood trailing? Yeah. Oh, look at all the bubbles. You stop there for a bit. Yeah. Stop there. On the arrow. Nice. Oh, covered in wood. So. Covered in what? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there he is! <laughs> oh, it's a little the the little oh, point buck. Nice. You got one picture of him, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Wow, he died fast. Oh, you found the arrow? Yeah. Awesome. We have only have one picture of that deer. Yeah. He is cool. He broke both of those off, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Eleven. Really? Wow, that's cool. Okay. 
he's nice and stiff. Well, it's not my biggest bust, but I'm definitely, I'm super happy about it. For the last, I think, five years, I've had to use a crossbow because I've had surgery on my wrist a couple times, and so now this is the first year back with a real bow, so I was going to be happy with anything, so I'm really happy with this guy. This year we've been using Sever Broadheads, and this hole is just crazy. I am super happy with them. That is awesome. Big shout out to DSG. I love this coat and pants that I got from them. It was 19 degrees this morning, and this kept me super warm. Big thanks to Matt and Clinton for helping me get my bow all dialed in. Subscribe and check us out on YouTube, m and Outdoor. After four wrist surgeries, being able to shoot my bow for the first time this year, this is a huge success for me and I'm just super thrilled and happy and so thankful for everyone that helped me get through it and finally got a deer with my bow.